Craig Ostrander is a wide receiver who's had trouble making a name for himself in the name of college football recruiters. Ostrander is from a military family and had to move around four different high schools in four seasons, never feeling comfortable in his own shoes. However, Ostrander's family finally decided to settle in Pensacola, Florida for his senior season, where he attended Pine Forest High School. Despite finally settling in, Ostrander did not get any offers to fulfill his dream of playing college football. He decided to walk on to Florida Atlantic University, staying in his home state. Playing time would not come easy. Ostrander is buried at the bottom of the depth chart and won't get many opportunities to earn more coach trust and playing time. But be sure to like and subscribe to see if Craig Ostrander can find the field in his freshman season. Craig's first practice came in the pouring rain. It wouldn't be easy for him to make a name for himself, but he still does so running crisp dig routes over in the middle, holding the ball in the process. There were times in practice where Ostrander was able to show off his speed. He faked the end route before toasting the corner over the top, making the dive and grabbing the end zone, impressing the coaching staff. The key drops on easy passes would limit his potential. The staff did not think Ostrander was ready for any meaningful snaps on offense. Craig's first touch as a college football player is going to come here on special teams. He's going to be the star kick returner for Florida Atlanta. He's going to field it at the two. He's going to get great blocks to the outside, and this is why the Owls gave him a PWL preferred walk-on. He takes it all the way to the crib. First career touch is a score. Now 10-7. Miami's going to punt the ball to him. Can he make some more magic happen? He can't, but he's going to set up FAU in great field position, but they do fail on this third and nine. However, we upset the Hurricanes in Miami 23-20. After that electric game, the coaches decided to give Craig a chance at moving up the depth chart and becoming the fifth string wide receiver. The position battle started hot for Craig after receiving this screen and hightailing it up the sideline, showing off his speed. The defensive back simply cannot keep up with Craig. He constantly burned whoever lined up against him and pressed cover, going two touchdowns. But even that would not be enough for Craig to move up, showing it would be an uphill battle for the walk-on to earn legit playing time. Once again, stuffed on special teams, are Craig's going to make the most of it going up the teeth of Eastern Carolina, scoring a 51-yard punt return touchdown. But the offense is going to fail here on third and 15, but we win despite that failed conversion, 38-35, moving the 2-0. and Finally got enough XP to upgrade our abilities, getting a plus three for catching, plus one for release, and plus two for acceleration, bringing us to a 57 overall. The coaches gave him another chance to become the fifth wide receiver, and now we have to take advantage. Craig makes the most of this with a huge diving grab and a tough snag of the middle on the slam, absorbing the hit almost immediately. The acceleration boost comes into full effect with the DB still unable to catch up with Craig on back-to-back -back deep shots, but the coaches were still unimpressed, holding his talents down at the bottom of the depth chart. Game three, another punt return session here. Ostrander going to field the ball at about the 27-yard line before making it down the right side, getting great blocks by a special teams unit and tailing it up for another punt return touchdown. Three games in a row, but our defense would fall to the Bulls, giving up a touchdown, and we get blown out by USF. But the XP earned was enough to earn an upgrade point and a speed boost, moving up to 58 overall with 93 speed, but only 55 catching. But we got another huge boost with plus three to our catching and other route running attributes, honing our craft up to a 59 overall. The speed will show off in another position battle when Craig cuts inside the corner and spins up fields, shying off the goal line. The coaches were starting to notice improvements in Ostrander's hands. He had a spin run for this catch, forcing the defenders to collide with one another with him walking into the end zone. But the coaches still had a vendetta with Ostrander staying on the bench despite all his success in practice. Fourth game in a row here on special teams, going to field the punt at the 13 yard line. He's going to gut cut up all the gaps that the special team unit has for him, runs into his own defender, but he still gets great blocks on the sideline. 87 yard punt return to put the Owls up seven. Now late in the ball game, fourth and six, watching our offense fail to convert on a fourth and six as this wide receiver didn't cut up field and we fall to Middle Tennessee State, losing two in a row. More attribute upgrades coming thanks to Ostrander's electric ability on special teams with a plus three for catching, finally bringing it into the 60s. At some point, the coaches were going to be forced to insert Craig into the starting lineup with these corners not being able to keep up with him. Time and time again, he simply burned the secondary over the top for scores. And finally, halfway through the season, they moved Craig up, but it still says we are number six on the depth chart. Seems like the coaching staff simply has something against them. Now, fifth game of the year, once again on special teams, fielding this punt at the 20-yard line. It seems like we are unstoppable on special teams. They better stop kicking us the buck. We're channeling our inner Devin Hester. 80-yard punt return, five games in a row with a score. But it's third and 16, and our offense takes a sack. And the team simply can't seem to perform with Craig on special teams, and they need to insert him into the starting lineup. Now, six practices with Craig in line for another position battle, but doubt starts to creep in on if this coaching staff will move him. Ostrander still performs to his best of his ability by taking a screen to the end zone and making a tough grab over the middle. But this staff simply cannot take their heads out of their own tails by limiting Craig's abilities on the bench. Down 21 to nothing. Ostrander 
fielding the load on his plate, trying to get another punt return touchdown. Can he make it all the way? He is down to the 30, the 20, but eventually gets shoved out of bounds at the seven yard line, ending our streak of special teams touchdowns as we lose to UAB 42 to 28. Ostrander will do everything in his power to prove himself by continuously dusting the secondary for touchdowns in practice. Every time he touched the ball, he showed out and Craig finally has a chance to challenge for the next string on the depth chart. Getting a ball once again, first quarter down 0-0, trying to make something shake, get another punt return on the season. Inside, outside, do we get any room? No, we eventually get hawked down. We're still on the sidelines, watching our team down 14 to nothing on a third and 10 here in the second quarter against Marshall as we fail to get to conversion, and Marshall does beat us 17 to nothing, but Jaquan Burton was the only receiver to out with six catchers, 141 yards, but our quarterback, Perry, was absolutely terrible today. 18 of 54 and 293 yards with five interceptions, and deep down, we knew with Austin on the field he could provide that spark that is needed for this offense another practice where craig is fighting to have a spot on the field where nothing changes with austrian's ability to blow by the defense with back-to-back -back touchdowns here in practice but it seems like it was all for nothing we get the congratulations just to remain sixth on the depth chart despite on the coach trust stating that we are the fourth string wide receivers we did get a couple upgrades for our catching traffic and our speed putting craig at 97 speed and a 63 overall before increasing our catching twice over to reach a 65 overall eight weeks into the season side of jordan here always a tough place to play with the ruckus crowd in here in the pouring rain but austrian is going to have some movement down the left sideline and eventually gets shoved out of bounds after gaining a 38 and we're up 14 to nothing surprisingly against a five and two auburn team and austrian has got some room down the left sideline can he get gone he's got two people to beat and spins into a defender no and our offense actually comes back to blow out auburn 45 to 35 on the road but still for some reason craig doesn't even appear on the depth chart despite beating alexander in every position battle but craig keeps his head down to grind and earn another spot that we failed this time around perhaps giving the coaches good reason to not start craig at wide receiver here we go down seven with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter trying to get something going but the two lane special teams unit corrals ostrander and you're on another third down down seven here in the fourth quarter we fail to convert as we are stuck on the sideline losing the two lane 32 to 22 falling to three and six on the season Season. but we did get a catching boost up to a 69 overall bringing us to a 67 overall with 61 catching traffic and we have an opportunity to become a third string wide receiver but we'll see if the coaches actually live up to the word we dust the secondary off for a touchdown on back-to-back -back plays one over the middle and cutting inside and the outside of the defense on the screen but it still says that we are sixth on the depth chart despite winning another position battle all Craig can do is perfect his craft and upgrades himself with plus four to catching other abilities bringing him to a 69 overall once again here in the pouring rain on the road against southern miss trying to snap our touchdown drought as we shed a tackle shed another tackle before finally getting corralled we watch our team convert on a speed option ending our losing streak by defeating southern miss 42 to 24 another practice where craig is projected to be in a position battle and he goes out there balls out by taking another screen down the sideline making his way into the end zone all to simply remain buried on the depth chart Coastal carolina did score right before halftime giving craig another chance to show off his electric ability on special teams and he takes it right through the teeth of the coastal carolina special teams unit for a 92 yard kickoff return touchdown before half are right, they kicking it to craig once again here in the fourth quarter up by 11 got a chance to really put the nail in for this game and he's gonna go down the right side and what a game to bounce back two special teams touchdowns the owls move to five and six one game from bowl eligibility even though the coach trust states that we are the starter the current coaching staff is hell-bent on keeping ostrander off the field possibly to the detriment of their own team and all craig can do is keep on showing off in practice to build his film for either a new coaching staff or to possibly transfer out of fau he has lost trust with fake hype messages at the end of practice all right one game left for bowl eligibility they are punting craig the football down by 14 he's gonna will his way through the teeth of the james madison duke special teams nobody's even gonna touch him on his way to the end zone bringing the lead down to seven now tied at 31 here late in the fourth quarter kicking the ball back to austrian yet again and he just cuts out inside the outside again remaining untouched to the end zone third time of the game tied at 38 austrian gets the ball still untouched i don't think his jersey got dirty in this one down the right sideline putting florida atlantic on his back before once again with five seconds remaining they kick the ball deep to him and he's going to take it straight to the crib putting florida atlantic 
at 6-6 six and six on the season. Channeling has entered Devin Hester with 279 total kick return yards, two touchdowns with two more touchdowns on punts, and 178 total return yards. However, Florida Atlantic was not awarded a bowl game, but Craig's ability on special teams was noticed by the country as he was unanimously awarded the best returner in the nation. And with this excess XP, Craig would do some speed training to boost himself to a 99 speed with 97 excel, bringing himself to a 74 overall before working more on his catching, which brought that up to an 80, bringing him up 20 points from where he originally started the season off. On the season, Craig Ostrander had 1,571 total kick return yards, averaging 32 yards per return and four touchdowns with a long of 97 yards on his season. On punt returns, he added another 1,000 yards total with seven punt return touchdowns. Once again, channeling his inner Devin Hester as he completely trounced anybody else that was underneath him. Craig Ostrander projects to be a starter next season. However, if this coaching staff stays, it remains to be seen if Ostrander will stay at FAU or take his abilities and transfer somewhere else.